Okay, we're going to, this is our first tutorial on how to use content area sites. Um, since I'm a math teacher, I'm going to be doing all math related sites. The first one is IXL.com. We use this at our school for um, kind of an intervention. Um, we can also um, we can also do this in our specific content as practice, um, but we do use it actually as a school-wide uh, math intervention type of a website. A um, few features of this that are really, I think, very valuable. Um, the learning tab shows you at all levels from pre-K all the way up through calculus. It breaks it down into specific individual skills that you can do at every level. So very, very uh, um, narrowed down specific learning outcomes. Um, you can, it gives you a preview of a few of the problems that you'll see in that section. Um, pick the topic you're going to, you're going to use. Um, if you go to analytics, in the an analytics section, you can look at courses, you can look at classes as a whole. Um, on the dashboard, you can go to specific students, specific classes, and look at the progress they've made, how many they've answered. This is the student view here um, where you can see this is a class I had last year, how many they answered, how much time they spent. The SMART score over here on the right shows you that they've got to a certain level. It's an adaptive test, so they've got to certain levels where they get a bunch of them right, so it looks like they're understanding um, the, uh, the problems that they're doing. Um, when you do the specific problems, it gives you instant feedback, whether you got it right or wrong, and not only that, it gives you some... Also, some instant feedback as far as what you did wrong to get it wrong. Um, one thing that I really like that I used a lot is this real time button. On the real time, as students are working, you won't see it here since I don't have a class up right now, but during real time when students are working, it shows on the real time dashboard who's on and how, how many problems they've done, how, time, how many minutes they've been on. So if you're asking the whole class to get on, and do one of the lessons, you can see who's dragging, who's not doing the work, or who needs the help and can't get that SMART score up. So very valuable. We use this all the time. We're going to use this again this year as an overall math, kind of math intervention website.